Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope your day is blessed. I just want to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and all that is watching. The Lord had led me to Luke 19, chapter 19, the other day. And I've always liked this parable, so I want to share it with you. Jesus comes to Zacchaeus' house. Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. And he sought to see who Jesus was, but could not because of the crowd, for he was of short stature. So he ran ahead and climbed up into the sycamore tree to see him, for he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. So he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. But when they saw it, they all complained, saying, He has gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my good to the poor, and if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Amen. And um, we're all sinners, and, and we all fall short of the glory of God. Um, but I wanted to share with you, after I read this, the Holy Spirit had prompted me to it, um, that the Lord had put upon my heart that He never truly uses the most likely. If you look at the apostles and, um, you know, how they acted um, with anger or rage or they bickered among themselves about who was the best and um, who, who was the favorite of Jesus and, you know, we're human and we're flesh. Um, but the Lord put it upon my heart that in these end times, when uh, God pours out his spirit and the uh, outpouring of the Holy Spirit uh, comes upon his people, uh, the latter rain, that he is going to choose the least likely, the very unintentional, the ones that you would never expect. He is going to pour out his spirit upon, um, you know, the brothers and sisters in Christ, upon those that he has chosen um, really before time. He, he chooses um, people for a specific, um, you know, I guess, you know, purposes for the kingdom of God. And he is going to pour out his spirit and there will be signs and wonders and healings and amazing, um, you know, things that the Lord is going to do. But also remember that in the book of Revelation, it speaks about the, you know, the Antichrist and the false prophet. They, too, will do signs and wonders, but it will be not of God. See, Satan always has a counterfeit of what God does. So we must always test the spirits, John 4, 4, about because Satan tries to present himself as an angel of light. So always test the spirits. Um, always, 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 always. <laughs> I can't reiterate that enough. But he just wanted me to encourage people today because, you know, as Christians, we are under attack. And um, it can come through anyone, co-workers, friends, family, um, the enemy uses those closest to us to hurt us, but um, as Satan knows he's running out of time, he is increasing the attacks. He is increasing the evil. I don't watch the news or read the paper, but if you even watch, you know, 30 minutes of the news, you'll see all the evil in the world and how it has increased. And um, so he knows, he knows he's running out of time. 
so I just wanted to share with you encouragement to not discount your gifts, to not get discouraged if you are being refined. <laughs> we're, we're being refined and um, he is removing us from the world and um, removing um, the brothers and sisters in Christ from things that they knew before. You know, that old self is dead and gone. So he will continue to prune us and fine tune us and refine us and make us clean with high sop and, and change us from crimson red to white as snow. Um, Jesus loves us and he wants us to be without spot and blemish. And I just think, man, I am a hot mess <laughs> because I need all the help I can get, Lord. Um, but I hope this encourages you today. And God bless you always. Do not get discouraged. Um, he, If you have spiritual gifts, continue to seek Him. Continue to ask for wisdom and truth, which comes from the Word of God. And the Holy Spirit will lead you. I just, um, I just want to encourage you um, that there is going to be increase. There is going to be an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. It is up to Him when. <laughs> and um, you know, as humans, we're not very patient. I could speak for myself. So God bless you in Christ, and um, I love you all very much. Thank you for watching my channel. I will always try to share what the Holy Spirit. Uh, prompts me to share. I pray um, in the name of Jesus that you are healed, um, body, mind, soul, and spirit, and that you are prosperous, that he pours out his blessings upon you today and every day and upon your family, and that the Holy Spirit just infill you with his perfect peace and that you have the armor of God on every single day and that you were protected by his holy angels, his warrior angels especially. Um, Archangel Michael and all the warrior angels that you were protected. Amen.